Greetings my lovelies, hi it's Emmy, welcome back to another MRE tasting. Well more specifically it's another meal cold weather ration and this time it's meal number two and this is beef stroganoff. This was very graciously sent to me by viewer Rob. Rob thank you so much for sending this to me. I'm super excited to taste this meal cold weather. This is the second time I've tasted it. If you missed my first tasting I shall put the link down below to that one. I believe it was a seafood chowder. So these are a little bit different than the typical MREs. But these are all freeze-dried meals so you must add hot water to reconstitute everything. If you had a typical MRE in cold weather, you would have a frozen block of food <laughs> that would be really difficult to reheat. So adding hot water to something that's freeze-dried and soft makes a lot of sense. So this is made by the Warnick Company in Cincinnati, Ohio, and these bags are a little bit different than the typical MREs because they are white to be camouflaged in the snow. So this says it's a peelable seal. Let's see how peelable it is. I've had difficulties with these in the past. After I almost had a hernia, gosh. Here we go. And this is the beef stroganoff. It looks like a package of coffee. Starch jelly candy, I must say, it does not sound all that appetizing. Here is our spoon, chocolate sports bar. I'll take it. And here's the sundries packet. And here is the beverage base powder, this time in cherry. And package of nut fruit mix. Let's go ahead and make the main course first and then while that's cooking I'll taste the other things. I'm very curious to see what starch jelly candy is about though. I'm trying to imagine what what they're talking about. Starch jelly? I have no idea. All right so let's give this a snip. Last time I had a really great vacuum seal. This time too. Can you hear that? Almost like beef onion soup. Next I'm going to add two cups of water. I am going to measure it because I do not have a canteen and add our hot water. So there's a little bit of that. Stir, stir, stir. Mmm, now I can really smell the mushrooms. It smells pretty good. And I'll add the rest. All right, seal that up and we'll wait for 10 minutes. So let's open the sundries bag. And there's our Tabasco, moist toilet, non dimmer creamer, coffee, toilet paper, matches. This looks like the mint gum because it's not in the red wrapper. All right, while I have my boiling water, I'm gonna fix up a cup of coffee. Our instant coffee granules into that. And my hot water. It smells like truck stop coffee, not surprisingly. This smell always reminds me of camping because this is the only time I drink instant coffee. And for the full effect, let's have some non-dairy creamer. <laughs> I'll add some sugar too. Now there you go, an instant cup of coffee. Cheers. So it's a little thin and not as robust as it could be, but I could have added a little less water. And yeah, on a freezing cool day, I'm sure this is amazing. Let's check out this. This is the chocolate sports bar. Oh, and if you like these kinds of videos, be sure to subscribe for more Eaton. And I'll also put a playlist down to all the other MRE tastings that I've done in the past. And this is what's inside. I haven't seen a power bar in a long time. That's what this reminds me of. It's got this kind of sheen to it and it's very dense. <laughs> it's a bit soft and very, very dense. It smells like a little Debbie's brownie. All right, let's give this a taste. Ah. Mm -hmm. Hmm. Let's have some coffee. Mm. So the coffee kind of helps to soften and melt it a little bit. It has a little bit of rice crispy cereal in there, so it's a little bit crunchy. The flavor is sweet, but not too sweet. But it is very, very dense. In terms of flavor, it actually tastes a lot like one of those Little Debbie's brownies. It tastes kind of processed and a little bit fake in terms of the chocolate flavor, kind of like chocolate extract. But it's really not bad. And I think when you're out and on a long trek, this is probably the best thing you could ever have because you're just biting and chewing and your belly is instantly full. Okay, let's do the fruit and nut mix. I love trail mix and always bring it with me on hikes. And whoa, <laughs> so this has some fruit in it besides raisins and looks like dried blueberries. This really bright colored, I think those are cherries. I had that in a previous nut mix and I really didn't like those. So, and I think these are dried blueberries. Let's have one of those. Mm. Oh, those are great. The blueberries actually have a little bit of chew to them and the blueberry flavor is really concentrated. Those are awesome. Mm. I got a peanut too. Mm -hmm. 
Raisins are raisins. Peanuts are nice, nice and roasty and nutty and not salty, which is fabulous. I know it's bad form to have your dessert before you have your meal, but I really want to know what's inside this. Starch jelly candy. Whoa. <laughs> so starch jelly candy are chuckles. So I haven't had a chuckle in ages. They look like little barrels actually. That's what it looks like inside. Let's give that a taste. <laughs> and they're exactly how I remember. They're a little bit like a gummy, but they're not as rubbery or resilient, much softer, just like a gumdrop. Sticky, and then the outside is coated with a bunch of granulated sugar. The flavor is quite intense. This tastes like orange Fanta. And you know, because I hate black licorice so much, let's give the black one a taste. Mm. It's actually not as strong as I remember. It just tastes like anise. Still not my favorite, but actually not as unpleasant as I remember when I was a child. I hated the black licorice, but it's not too bad now. It's still not my favorite. I wouldn't call it delicious, but not as detestable as it was when I was a child. All right, so starch jelly candy, mystery solved, are just chuckles. And this is cherry. So I think this is gonna be like a cherry Kool-Aid. 12 ounces is a cup and a half. Indeed, it smells like cherry Kool-Aid, exactly. And pour this in. Let's give that a good shake. Waha! Yep, and look at that color. So as kids, my mom never let us have this because of the red food coloring, so it was always a real treat. All right, let's give it a taste. Here we go. Mm. And as an adult, I really don't like it. I really don't like that artificial cherry flavor, but it just tastes like childhood. It tastes like cherry Kool-Aid. It's very sweet and tastes like artificial cherry, kind of like a cherry cough drop without the menthol or like a cherry flavored hard candy. Yeah. All right, now let's check on our entree. Here we go. Wow, okay, now it's thickened up. So beef stroganoff is a pasta dish made with beef and mushrooms typically that's served on top of egg noodles. So this is actually quite accurate because there are noodles here and there are pieces of beef that I can clearly see. And do I see mushrooms? I think there's a mushroom right there. Nice, here we go. Itadakimasu. In terms of flavor, it tastes a little bit like creamy mushroom soup. It's salty, a little bit creamy, and there's a slight kind of mushroomy flavor. The meat does have a little bit of a bite to it. Maybe I could have let it soak a little bit longer. It's not exactly delicious, but it's hot and filling, and out in the field, I'm sure it is amazing. And there's a reason why all MREs contain a packet of Tabasco, because Tabasco can help everything. So I'm gonna add just all of that here and transform this into something a little bit more palatable. There we go. Mm hmm Oh yeah. Smoky, hot, tangy, much better. Mm hmm Personally, I'm not a huge fan of cream and mushroom soup, so this one really doesn't do it for me. But if you love cream and mushroom soup and casseroles, I think this one might be a winner for you. All right, so that wraps up the meal cold weather beef stroganoff tasting. If you're interested in more military ration tastings, I shall put the playlist down below. And yeah. All right, I hope you guys enjoyed that. I hope you guys learned something. Don't forget to like, leave me a comment, and subscribe. And I shall see you in my next video. Doodaloo. Take care. Bye. <laughs>